Hey, it's Danny from Culture Calisthenics here. So I wanted to make this as a response video to this video. I'm going to start my first cycle on steroids where I announced the next month I was actually going to embark on the journey of taking testosterone in the synthetic form injected. And yeah, the reason why I'm making this video is a lot of people freaked out. There were some positive comments and some negative comments. So yeah, by me having the responses I did, has made me decide that I'm not going to take steroids. And I'm gonna elaborate more in a moment. So if we go onto this video, I'm actually gonna go through the comments. And I am grateful to all of you for caring about me so much, my health and my wellness. And I'm grateful for all of, yeah, your insights and opinions as well. And yeah, this video has got more thumbs down and thumbs up, which is the first one. And um, we've got Vegetable Police here, which is a friend of mine. And as he said, I wouldn't do it, bro. You look for long already and transformation is hugely inspiring, partly because you achieved it naturally. Thank you very much. Um, there could be negative health effects too, although I'm sure you looked into it and will do it as safely as possible. Yeah, definitely there could be some negative effects. Um, you may forever forfeit the nat natural status though, at least in the eyes of the public. Some other people mentioned this to me as well. And yeah, I do agree that could happen. I'll elaborate more on that in a bit. Not that you should care what people think, but some will forget any muscle you built naturally. They won't remember where you came from. They would just see you and think, yeah, he looks good, but he took steroids. Can't get that type of body as a vegan naturally. Even if you stop taking them, it may always hang over you. Yeah, and that could quite possibly happen. And that happens to a lot of people that get on the steroid journey. So just my two cents. I'd rather see you continue the natural approach, but you probably have different goals than to just show what's possible naturally. I still follow you. I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't be interested to hear your thoughts on how much stronger you feel and such. It's a risk though. So yeah, just based on his, yeah, I'm very aware that it could quite possibly have some negative health effects on me, short term and possibly long term as well. And I'm all about health, so yeah, it's not a risk that I should be, should have been willing to take. And then what I'm gonna say is, in the back of my mind, the whole time I kept thinking about do this, my intuition was going, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, so many times throughout the day, but I was ignoring it, because I wanted to make specific videos. But it doesn't care what video, it, sh it shouldn't matter, should I say, what videos that I want to make. If I'm doing something that's going to affect my health in a seriously negative way, that's something I should not be doing at all. So basically by him saying that, it's confirming a lot of things that were in the back of my mind. So thank you so much for that. We're going to give you a thumbs up and a love for that. Um, someone says here, be extremely careful, it's addictive, it'll affect your mind, emotions. Yes, it really changes people into someone else, their whole personality. Uh, said so you look amazing naturally, I hate to see you lose your balance, you're very inspirational, stay safe. So yeah, thank you for caring. Uh, definitely take that fully on board. Um, someone said here, remember you talked to someone about negative side effects of female contraceptions? Yep, because it's producing a lot of estrogen in the body and stuff, mess up hormone production. Um, it seems like testosterone would have just as many side effects. I mean, I know a month is a short period of time, but what it affects you mentally and you say, you don't stop in a month, hormones. Yeah, so you can get out of balance. So yeah, someone caring again, which is really good. Um, someone says here, you want to do it, but not for yourself with science of making videos and just show how people work. Yes, exactly that and only that. Are you sure you don't want to do it because you want to get a little bit bigger? No. I've said in some videos recently in live stream, so I really don't want to get any bigger at all. So yeah, me taking testosterone and getting bigger, <laughs> yeah, it's not actually what I want. So yeah, it's not gonna make me feel the best if I was to do that. Uh, someone said, is this a joke? Someone here said, which I haven't heard this before, uh, Max Manifest, I've heard that any cycle of testosterone at all to your muscle building DNA should never be a full natty, even when you're off, meaning fully natural. If it's because you wanna make quicker progress, up your training frequency to hit muscle groups two times per week and up your protein intake. But yeah, that's not what I wanna do at all, so I'm not worried about that. I'm training as hard as I possibly can, so yeah. Um, and personally, where I'm at now, naturally what I want to do is increase uh, my chest size a bit more, get a lower body fat percentage and increase my strength, that's it. Um, yeah, like someone says here, best one I want, I don't think you realise what TRT or any equivalent testosterone supplementation will do to your body. Yes, I do know fully, and I was willing to take those risks. 
Specifically, other than referring to long-term side effects, you're essentially shutting down your natural testosterone production in entirely messing up with your hormones synthetically. Well, it does shut it down, but you can do things to get your body to be naturally producing it again. Um, but yeah, it's going to take a little while for that to happen. Then you have to go through that period of where it's really low when you come off it and feel like crap. Um, and while some people can start, uh, can still jumpstart their natural testosterone production after getting off the juice, most can't. It's never the same. Yeah, because they're not doing the right things to get it going again. So once you get off it, you'll feel like crap and most of your gains will evaporate. Yeah, but I wasn't going to do it because I wanted to keep the gains. I was just doing it for videos. So yeah, I didn't mind if I'd lose them at all. I see this all the time. You, the YouTube community will. I uh, usually argue otherwise, but as you've already mentioned, they are so full of crap and so afraid to the truth, and it's ob absolutely ludicrous. Um, someone says, at least you're honest. A lot of people here, no man, like, um, some people saying do it, some people saying be careful, wouldn't do it. Some people said they're going to unsubscribe and did unsubscribe, which is a shame, to be honest. Like, there's a lot of people I learn from, certain things I don't agree with, but I don't just completely... Um, stop following but it's each to their own some people are looking to see what happens to my body my good friend Casper here um, telling me to do some research into a documentary make sure to get my blood values tested um, he said supports me what I do in my own body so I appreciate it thank you very much and thanks for your insight the reward is not worth the risk and yeah to be honest, it isn't worth the risk at all. I completely agree with you. And yeah, I'm glad that all of you people, as I mentioned earlier, have said these certain things. Because when I read them, it's all things that were in my mind. And what I thought about after reading all these comments was what would my ex-partner uh, Sophie say that I was with for almost two years? She was saying, do not touch them at all. That is very, very dangerous. And yeah. She would advise me against it, and she is one of the best people that have ever been in my life that could help me gain clarity around situations sometimes. Uh, interesting experiment. Your, pro your body will stop producing testosterone by itself. Yes, it would have done. Um, experiment with different training methods. Do you need to do it? Yeah, it wasn't to look more amazing. It's just to show people what you can achieve with and without them. Uh, is this a joke? Clickbait? No, it wasn't. Um, is it vegan? Wish you wouldn't. Very interested in what happens. Um, but yeah, as my friend says, he's John Shaw, a very good friend of mine. He thought this was a clickbait title. Um, as I'm so natural, it is not a source connected. Uh, it is not a source connected way of using artificial tea. It says pine pollen, nettle root, um, and all these different things he's mentioned here as well, bring it to boost and testosterone. So yeah, I'm just going to stick to what I normally do, and that is doing all these different things to boost my testosterone levels, such as eating one meal a day, so the intermittent fasting gives me those benefits. Also, making sure I go to bed early, exercising in a fasted state, taking pine pollen underneath the tongue almost daily, taking DHEA, and all these other different supplements as well. Uh, his experience is not great with steroids. The person was very aggressive and pursued everything female, including other people's wives, GFs, the rest you can get. And yeah, for me, I already have quite a high libido. So that was a concern for me, one of the main concerns, that it would be too high and I would just want to get with every single different female. And that would be not a good thing for me. Or oh, I'm not that type of person. And I actually am on a journey that I've been on for years, which is no fat, so abstaining from releasing and doing semen retention, so to speak, um, and you're not releasing loads and loads of it on a regular basis and depleting myself because it actually lowers doping levels and raises prolactin levels. So it doesn't make me feel good at all. And yeah, I was also concerned about maybe feeling aggressive or angry. That's not something I would want to bring out in myself at all. And yeah, especially because I know that I'm gonna be ending in, well, I'm going to be having a new intimate relationship with someone that's coming in next month. And that would have been around the time that we'd taken testosterone. And I was actually quite concerned. And my intuition was saying, this is not a good idea. Don't be doing that when you're in an intimate relationship. It could end really, really badly. So, yeah. Yeah, it's the same to be aware of. Um, thanks for your transparency. Um, 
Have you ever considered taking an antibiotic test? No, I just have taken on one different thing. Reference to science, don't think you need it. Um, yeah, don't touch that. You don't need it. Look at the pros and cons of doing them. You look great naturally. I hope you're not serious. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of different comments. You can definitely check these out uh, yourself. I'm not going to read them all out. Um, but yeah, hope some of the people that left come back. If they don't, they don't. But yeah. And yeah, some you have so much potential out steroids, brother, don't do it. And yeah, I know for me to get really where I want to, it's going to take me anywhere up to five years. That's just what I say to people that ask me. Uh, what do you want to do your body and how long is it going to take you? And um, yeah, five years is around the time period that it will take me to get to. And there's always improvements that I can always make, especially with calisthenics skills and my strength. Um, someone says here, I feel you're being oh, hip, hypocritical. You follow a vegan lifestyle for the health benefits now, you're going to do steroids, stupid. Just remember there are a lot of influential people through your YouTube channel, and with that comes responsibility. Yes, that is another factor. Do I really want to be taking them and showing people you get really great benefits, even though there's side effects and voicing side effects? No, not really, because there's quite a few people that wouldn't care about side effects and would do it. And I would be like a role model to them for that. And I don't want to be known for that at all. So, yeah, I, I agree. It's not a good thing at all. Uh, don't do it. You can lose the majority of your fan base. Come on, bro. Um, oh, God. Gosh, I'm disappointed. I hope. I wish you well and I hope you find your way. Yeah, so many, many different comments. It would have been interesting though to see how much I eat. I already eat a lot. I just can't, it would be insane for that. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for these comments. You all feel like you are my community and my friends. Obviously I have friends in my real life as well. I see face to face, some of you I meet as well. But yeah, just so much support and so much empathy for me that you have and compassion and caring for me. So yeah, thank you so, so much for all of your amazing feedback. Um, and one last one, I hope it's clickbait. Why do men make such stupid decisions? Well, I pretty much hardly ever make stupid decisions. Uh, decisions. It must be what it's like to have too much testosterone. Not at all, because it wasn't doing testosterone at all just do good video content would you like me to give a list of very popular youtube creators have died after taking steroids i know so many especially rich piani and i've done so much research into them but yeah those type of people that die really young because taking them they are taking things like deca and trends stacked together and all these other different things in really really high doses so yeah it can be really really dangerous um but it, there are ways you can do it in a more safer manner but with every method you're doing no matter what dosage and what form you're taking there's still going to be some unwanted side effects um so yeah if i want to leave you with one thing is that yeah you don't need to be taking steroids or testosterone at all to get the results you need to it's going to take you a longer period to get them naturally and you won't get as big so to speak but to be honest Taking them is going to have a negative effect on your health short term and long term. It's just not worth the risk at all, as people said here. And as I knew in the back of my mind. So, yeah, just stay safe and train as hard as you can with hypotrophy training if you want to gain as much mass and mass as possible. Do an intermittent fasting day, whether it's two meals a day or one meal a day. Take supplements that can boost the testosterone and human growth hormone levels and lower insulin as well. There's so many different things that you can do on a regular basis to maximize your gains in the shortest period of time. And yeah, if you really want to see what it's like to take really, really strong forms of steroids and testosterone, um, then you want to definitely go and check out Rich Piani. As you can see, he's absolutely huge. Uh, he's actually a very inspirational and motivational person for me. He's very mo yeah, very motivating and inspirational person in many ways. Had a lot of good work ethic. But yeah, I'd never follow his dietary advice or the advice for the things that he's putting into his body that were not good for him at all. And yeah, as you can see, he didn't live for a very long period of time, which is such a shame. And yeah, this is what happens when someone cares more about their physique than their actual maximum lifespan and their health. 
and yeah, people like that have some psychological issues that they need to deal with and pull up from the roots because yeah, it is not good to uh, be going to the extreme that like some of these people do. I mean, there's some people that have died in twenties and thirty years old as well, but yeah, I said they go to the extreme. I wasn't going to go to the extreme, but still, even if they're not going to the extreme, it can be a slippery slope because a lot of people like this. Once they see the results, they don't want to lose them, and their strength massively increases as well. So it can be highly, highly effective. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to share this with other people that you think may want to hear about my response to this video that I've made in the comments that people have made on it. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis on specific topics such as calisthenic workouts, calisthenic progressions, what to eat for my one meal a day meal on a plant-based vegan diet. Also showing you what I get up to in a day and sharing things with myself and my life and showing you my own journey with calisthenics as well and my body changes. So if those topics are sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains.